So the the Brontes in general, they're putting them back together in a way. Are they? Well, they're like cut, other. Pretty much. So <laughs> basically, all the contents of the house were sold off after Patrick, who's the father, um, Pop Bronte, he died in 1861. <laughs> and all the contents were sold off because, you know, you have a new parson who comes in and the furniture changes. Because uh, yeah. yeah. he was a... Uh, he was a curate, yeah. vicar, priesty guy. Not a priest. Because um, he had like, six children. Um, but the Bronte Society, they've been putting the house back together, which is very exciting. Wow. And they've been slowly, slowly buying at auction various bits of Bronte paraphernalia. Oh, cool. So there was a table that they wrote at. One kind of normal, medium-sized, dark wood table. Yeah. £580,000 it's been bought wow. for. Them. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But did they all write at this table? I think a fair. I think a lot of them did. I yeah. don't know if any key works were definitely pinned on that table, but it was the writing table. Do you think, that's actually. a big table. Yeah. Do you think, like, as a writer that you are, and mm. we all are, really, mm. do, do you think that really now we should get actually quite a nice ornate table? Because in the future, <laughs> yeah, look at it and go, oh, that table from IKEA was like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, what's the point of putting that in a museum? Exactly. Yeah. I like um, Terry Pratchett's table where he wrote most of his novels. Um, as soon as he passed away, his assistant Rob put a glass plate over. Over the table, oh. so that every single scuff mark, every single you know mug uh, so cool. wear, and yeah, is is there now for all time. It's a That's great idea. Awesome. Yeah, I nice. think like chewing gum underneath it. <laughs> yeah, 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 bogies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, have yeah. you guys seen Danielle Steele's table? Yes. No. She's <laughs> a, she writes. Is it kind of romances? Yeah, She's, romance. I mean, she writes. They sell by the truckload. I mean, yeah, yeah. she sold millions and millions of books. Her desk is shaped like three of her own books as it is as if she's tiny it's as if she's a borrower oh, and there are these three huge books piled on top cool. of each other and that's the desk she writes that's in. incredibly but, cool but they're yeah. Danielle Steele books yeah, yeah, on yeah. the spine they say Danielle Steele and then her, her biggest novels are on the side so it is looks it in colour amazing yeah. yeah it's in colour it's wow. incredible it's, amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's, really, it's good. really incredible can um, you not get your feet under it yeah you can, I think she's, you can. she uses she's probably... it it's her writing desk <laughs> no I know but I'm imagining if you've piled up three books and they're massive Oh, they're not real books. Look, it's like this. So it's like hollow this. on the inside. Yeah, it's, it's, like, a, it's like three of these on top of each other, but they're huge. So, I can't believe we're having to explain no, no, this so much. Are they hollow? No, yes, yes, they're hollow. It's, it's, it's a, a desk. It's, it's a fake really book. <laughs> I thought she could perfectly simulate the books. You could open them up and read them. And There's everything in her house like a book. Like, yeah, it is. If yeah. you need to go to the toilet, you have to lift up the front cover of one of her novels. <laughs> it's incredibly confusing. It's at least her, her lowest selling novel. She's turned yeah. into the toilet. The toilet yeah. paper is just sheets from every one of those books. Another reason really cool item i don't know um if it was at auction that they had to buy it back mm. or whether they just still have it but charlotte bronte was given a bit of napoleon's coffin which really? is really cool oh, yeah. yeah just a tiny really? bit of napoleon's coffin wow. and i can't work out which one it was though because well napoleon, it can't be well he was he was dead as in how did they get his coffin oh yeah how did it like because mm. he had about but he had about seven coffins i think napoleon he was inside multiple layers mm. was it like a russian doll like a russian doll yeah yeah really he's there was a smaller Ouch. coffin it's quite that, awkward for napoleon isn't it <laughs> poor guy <laughs> yeah do you yeah. mean like a french pastry or Rather something then. come on <laughs> <laughs> it'd be cool yeah, past the parcel as well isn't it you sort of like you don't know it's just yes. getting smaller and smaller the coffins until what so do you win they, napoleon <laughs> they played the death match like duh <laughs> oh, the music starts. Oh, <laughs> James. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if any of these remain, but um, they wrote in tiny books sometimes. So some of their stories they wrote in books that were small enough for their dolls or their soldiers oh, to read, cool. Uh, cool. which sounds so cool. The writing is microscopic. And yes. um, I think one, there was one book that, in fact, we do have some of them because there are photos and they're about like the, the size of the thumb, a human thumb, yeah. really. So we know there's one because actually the Bronte house has bought one of them back. Have they for a million pounds? A what? Million? Yeah. The, the tiny book or the, the tiny oh, book? Why are they it's getting got, all the cash? I don't know. I, I have no idea where, where how they're funding it. Oh, actually, wow. I do know how they might be funding it because the actual Brontes themselves were funded indirectly through piracy. So no. you wait. So Grandpa Bronte, Grandpa, Bronte. yeah, <laughs> Pop Pop Bronte. He was called Thomas Branwell. So oh, I right, think it might one. have been on the mother's side. On the mother's yeah. side, yeah, yeah. Cool. He was uh, in league with smugglers. He was a trader, right. but also he had plenty of dealings with Cornish pirates who committed actual murders. Wow. And a lot of his money, a lot of his estate, would have come from his nefarious activities. That's cool. And the Bronte cool. sisters paid for their novels to be published, uh, and for the poems, they paid for those themselves. And they did a lot of that thanks to money they got from their aunt on that side of the family. Wait, so basically, they were pirate funded. So you saying that the current Bronte estate One has say, some sort of treasure chest that they're still I taking mean, billions out where of are they and... getting these millions from well, <laughs> they pay for anything in doubloons if you notice that at the auctions <laughs> thanks for watching you can listen to the full episode on this channel or wherever you get your podcasts and don't forget to subscribe for weekly episodes and clips 
Not only that, you can also join Club Fish via Apple Podcasts or Patreon for ad-free episodes and exclusive bonus content.